I really know deep in my heart that something, I hope that something will change. Not only in our hospital, but all hospitals, Texas, and everywhere. Tonight, another News 4 WOAI exclusive about serious charges of unsafe patient care at a major local hospital. Allegations of too many patients, too few nurses, leading to lapses in care, even death. These latest revelations uh, come from some nurses at University Hospital who until now have never spoken out publicly. But tonight for the first time, they did so with News 4's David Cruz. He's in the newsroom now with these latest developments. David? Randy and Tulane, the nurses I spoke with tonight told me that until this evening, they had been torn between fear for their jobs and fear for their patients, but not anymore. There's not enough nurses. There's not enough nurses taking care of patients admitted to the ER. That's as simple as it is. Imelda Valderas told me tonight she decided to speak out because staffing conditions at University Hospital are so bad they've led to patient injuries and even death. Are you telling me that because there are too few nurses, patients are getting worse and some have died? Yes, yes. The one that I know uh, just a couple of weeks ago or so, yeah. You're sure? Yes. Balderas was only 22 when she became the first Filipino nurse ever hired at what was then Bear County Hospital. That was 1972, and she's worked there all this time and says conditions are worse, not better. You know, coming to the Philippines, you look at U.S. as something progressive, and uh, but through the years in my nursing experience, it has not improved. It just gotten worse, the quality of patient care. Tonight, nurses gathered at Balderas' home as they worked to form a patient advocacy committee to address the widespread nursing shortage they say exists. In a release issued earlier, they state, our first obligation as RNs is to advocate in the exclusive interests of our patients. A top priority is to establish mandated safe staffing ratios of nurses to patients in all Bear County facilities. Also, Texas law currently provides no whistleblower protection for nurses. Now nurses are citing the Texas Code. Nurses can accept only those assignments that take into consideration client safety and that are commensurate with the nurse's education preparation, experience, knowledge, and physical and emotional ability. Maybe tomorrow I would lose my job, but you know what? I'm, I'm no longer afraid. I used to be when I was younger afraid to speak up because I'm afraid to lose my job and then as I was raising my kids, I would, now I don't. And a final footnote, none of the nurses I spoke to tonight are asking for other nurses to quit their jobs. Instead, tomorrow night, they're going to convene outside the entrance to University Hospital's emergency room in an effort to form a committee that may lead to changes in staffing and better patient care. We'll stay on top of the story for you. Reporting live from the newsroom, David Cruz, News 4, WOAI. Now, we contacted University Hospital spokeswoman Lenny Kirkman tonight. She says she can't comment on any specific allegations tonight. She did, however, dispute some of the staffing claims made by the nurses. She added the hospital was unaware of any widespread dissatisfaction among the nurses.